Okay, I'm going to say this and then I'm probably going to be done for the night. We are approaching um, a mayoral election and an automatic election. And prayerfully, I hope that everyone who has registered and has a right to vote exercise that right because it's very important. We can no longer sit behind closed doors and complain and then expect somebody else to step up to the plate and help fix the issues in our neighborhoods and our communities. We can't do that. We have to step out of the four walls in which we reside in and make our voices heard and make them loud. We need to realize, as I said in time and time before, we are the employer. The elected officials are our employees and we need to make them work. I'm already having a problem with this new governor with not making sure that mothers or single fathers and, and parents who does not make enough money to um, supply for daycare, that it just get cut cut off and just, just don't care, that it can lead to other avenues of unemployment. I have a problem already with all this talk of what your record was and there's no evidence to that record. I don't like a lot of complaining and you don't do nothing about it. You need to be an advocate for change. Change is not going to happen by itself. We have to make sure we do our part to institute that change and make sure that change becomes a reality. We can't sit at home and say it doesn't matter. My vote don't count. This is the problem that we are having now. And especially in our community, our neighborhoods are suffering. So we have, what is it, four candidates or five, Ron Manuel, Bob Fioretti, Willie Wilson, Doc Walls, and I think Frederick Collins and Amari uh, left the campaign. So everybody is advocating for their cause. They really are. Right now, I'm unsure to who I want to vote for for mayor, but I know one thing who I will not vote for. For mayor, because your record showed that you didn't keep your word in the last four years, even though you got all these endorsements. And even with endorsements, they really don't weigh heavy because what we should look at is the result of the work, the promises made and the promises not kept, especially in our community. All the other communities around the north and the east. Uh, suburban areas, South Side is lacking, Austin community is definitely lacking. So you can't convince me by your commercials, um, by what you say you have done, because I have yet to see that be proven. I sit in the midst of the madness and I don't see the evidence of your voice or your work. As far as the automatic race is concerned, is still the same thing. And we've had a sitting alderman for 15 years and we still have nothing shown for those 15 years. Now, I understand there's a lot of political gain. I understand there's people behind the scenes. They got the money. They have the influence. But at what point in our lives do we feel that we deserve better than what we have gotten? Bottom line. We can't continue to sit in silence and let our community suffer and die a slow death. It is time for a change. And I'm saying whoever sits in whatever seat, if you are not capable of doing what you need to do for the people, they need to be evicted out of the seat. And I didn't vote for Rana, and I'll say I didn't vote for Rana, and I mean what I say, but even you, with all your money, if you don't represent the people right, then you need to be removed from your seat as well. It ain't about favoritism. 
It's not about your money because your money is not helping me. But you need to be cautious about the cuts that you made and the people that you're going to affect with those cuts. Bottom line. Because you increase the crime when y'all do that stupid crap and the decision that you made. And because you had these preachers that you got in your back pocket or you got them in their back, in your back pocket or how it may be. That ain't cool neither because they need to stick to the platform that they was called to stick to. And that's that pulpit where they say, go ye therefore, you preaching what thus saith the Lord. That is your field of expertise. When you dabble over to something else and you mislead people and you lie to them, you need to be held accountable. And I'm saying to all registered voters, let your voice be heard for the mayor, for the alderman, all across the the board. We need to step up and step out. Enough is enough. And I'm telling you, I will be tweeting, Facebooking, Google Plus, whatever it takes to get my point across. And I urge every registered voter that lives in the state of Illinois and in whatever ward you live in, remember, you are the employer and they are in the they are the employee. They needed your votes to get in office. And whether you vote for them or not to get in office, they need to do their doggone job and they need to represent the people. And Ron Manuel, if you so happen to slide your behind up in office again, you better make sure that the Austin community is taken care of. Or oh, I'm calling your card again. And every supporter that back you up, that make you think that you did all that in a bag of chips, you ain't even worth the crumbs in the corner of the bag. Put your money where your mouth at. Step up to the plate. And please, people, when I... People make videos and make comments. We have a right to express our opinion and what we expect for our community. It's not a personal attack. It's the betterment of the community in which you live in. And if you don't speak up for nothing, then you can't expect anything. That's all I'm saying. And I'm sick of the games. Bottom line.